Hey everyone, Nathan Elson here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to take you through my brand new black and white Capture One Styles Pack. Now, one thing that I want to touch on before we get into the individual edits is from time to time, style packs or preset packs that can be created with one very specific style of image in mind. And I just want to show you guys here real quick, if I select all of these images and I come through and I apply any of these styles, they can be used across the entire spectrum of photography. So whether it is, you know, studio lighting, high key, low key, natural light, window light, anything you can think of, these styles can be used for. I wanted to create tools that could be used across an entire broad spectrum of photography, but obviously, you know, there's going to be tonal ranges that work better for some images than they do with others, but just having tools like this that can be used across any style of photography just allows you a lot more creativity when it comes to your color grade. So with that being said, I'm just going to remove this clear from the background and we're going to get into each individual edit. Now the first image here is a studio portrait. We've got one light here and I'm just gonna come through and we're just gonna select some of these different tonal ranges. And yeah, it's gonna be number four. Now, as you can see here, if we come in, you know, it's giving us nice deep darks, but we're not losing any of that detail. We can still see her eye in there. We can still see all the detail down in here. It's just, it gives us this beautiful highlight on her face, but it doesn't take away any of the dark shadow details. So if I give you guys a before and an after, that looks fantastic right out of the box. We don't need to do anything else. To that now for this one here we've got a lot of different tonal ranges going on you know it's a it's a lot more subtle portrait in terms of the highlights to the shadows so let's just see if we come in here oh, I like that yeah I already know I like that so we're gonna go with style number three here now one thing that you can do with these styles is you can come up after and in the black and white slider, you can actually make adjustments to your color. So if I wanted to darken her jeans, which are blue jeans, I can come down into the blues, bring that down a little bit, and drop my cyan a touch, bring up the yellows in her skin just to open that up a touch. Yeah, that looks great right there. Tons of tonal range. So before, after. And again, just super quick. It allows us just to kind of like one click tonal range on it. Let's come up into this one here. Come back into our styles. Oh, that looks really good there. Yeah. Yeah, number one for sure. And I'm not even gonna do anything after that. That looks fantastic. So before and after. And just, you know, beautiful highlights, soft transitions into the shadows, tons of tonal range. I, I love it. Now for this one here, I think I'm going to, it's a little dark. Number two looks nice. Three is a little too muted. Four looks good. You know what? I'm gonna go with number two. And again, I just want this jacket to pop a little bit more. So let's come back over to our color tab and yeah. We bop that up. Yeah, that looks great like that. And again, come in here, before, after. And if I just come in on her face here, you can just see just really nice transitions, tons of tonal range. We're not losing any detail in the jacket. Even if we come in here, you can still see the, the liner in the jacket. It's not falling to completely black. Ah, tonal range for days. All right, let's go on this one here. So for this one, let's just come back up into our styles here. One's a little dark. Oh, I like that, it pops out her hair a bit. I like that too. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with number three. And I think what I might actually do is just come in and just drop the shadow down just a touch and maybe bring our highlights up a little bit. There we go. Again, if we go before and after. Again, just tons 
of detail still in the images. Gives her face a really nice, like her uh, cheekbones and everything like that, just a really nice definition as well, which is great. Now here we move into a little bit of high key. So for this, I've got style number five here is a little bit more catered to the high key style of photography here. So let's, yeah, we're gonna click number five. And then I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna drop my highlights down a little bit just cause I'm losing a little bit on her arm there. Yeah, that looks great. Bring my shadows down a little bit just to keep that darkness in there. Yeah, we still have all of our detail in there. And again, if I just come up before and after, nice and clean. We're still getting a nice white here. We're not losing any detail in her arm or in her stomach. Just tons again, tons of tonal range. That looks great. Now here we've got some window light. Uh, let's just see here. So if we come up again, all of these would work without question. I like that. I like that too. Let's go with number six. We'll just make it a little bit softer. And then let's just come in here. Let's just see if we drop this down just a touch. Kind of give us a little bit more of that film noir look. Yeah, so it's mostly gonna be in the yellows and the reds. Yeah, so before, after. And again, like I was saying before, still not losing our detail in the shadows and just giving everything just a really nice film look. Yeah, that looks great. Now this was for a shoot I did recently out on a drilling rig. And uh, again, this is just kind of falling into that natural light aspect. So we come through these. Oh yeah. That one for sure. Number seven looks fantastic. We're still getting our detail in the sky. We're not losing any of those clouds, but it's just bringing out tons of that texture, making everything just look so much more interesting. And this is just a piece of pipe. Let's just apply that number seven to that as well. Oh yeah, I mean, that just goes from some boring pipe to, uh, to more of an artsy feel to it. It just, yeah, that looks great. And again, keeping with that tonal range, we can still see into the pipes. You know, we're not losing any of that detail down into here. We get our before and after. It's not falling so dark that, you know, we're missing any of that detail, but it's still giving us a really beautiful transition from our darks to our highlights. And then for this, we're just gonna move into a little bit more of a low key portrait. And on so this, let's just see here. Oh, one looks good. Two looks good. Three's a little bright. Four looks great. Five is a little bright. Yeah, we're gonna go on four here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just bump up my shadows just a touch. Yeah, right there. There we go. That looks unreal. And so there you go. This is the entire selection of images. We just color graded all of these images to look fantastic in a matter of seconds really per image. And so with that, that concludes the tour of my brand new black and white Capture One Styles pack. Now, if you guys are using these styles, make sure that you tag your images with the Nathan Elson C1 tag, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook, Twitter, any of the above, so I can see what you guys are creating. Thank you so much for your support. and I can't wait to see what you guys create.